What is going on everyone? It is Angry Gamer Online and today I'm playing some more Call of Duty Ghosts and we're on Warhawk once again. I think this is probably my favourite map in Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean I have posted quite a few gameplays on this map before and today we're playing with the AK-12. This is a gun I haven't really used too much but we get off to a pretty good start. We get straight off to a uh, four kill streak. There's this guy up here, I don't really know what he was doing. Nice little war bang through that sort of tin corrugated whatever it was. And then another kill and they do seem to just keep coming round here. So I just sort of stay around here and wait for them to come round. Getting a little bit impatient there and I run around to get him. Then unfortunately a flashbang and he does get me. So yeah, now we've died once, 4 and 1, not too bad. And now we see this guy up here, that's a window you always want to check. There's always going to be someone there. 9 times out of 10 you go down that little road and there's going to be a guy in that window. So always be ready to get your sights up. And now I think we do have a bit of a bad patch coming up in a minute. But not to worry, we do pull it out of the bag a bit later on. Now, my teammate does die here. That does alert me to the enemy's presence, so I'm able to turn around and make the kill just fine. And now we're just sort of running up this road, and then once again, another nice kill there. And now 7-1, and one, and this is where it takes a turn for the worst. I think I go on a 4-kill death streak. I think it's a 4-kill death streak, which is pretty bad. But... And now this really annoys me because I wasted I wasted 24 bullets and didn't get a kill with that, even though I probably got about 4 hit markers, maybe 5. But because of the range, the AK-12 does have a pretty low damage drop-off range, so it does start to lose its power after a pretty short distance, which is annoying. And now I see a couple of people up here, however my teammates are getting some good kills. So unfortunately I go around the corner and they're all dead. So... Now I think we have a bit of a bad patch to be honest, we don't really do a lot in this sort of section, we sort of run around a little bit. Now here I hear this guy coming, I make an absolute mess of this, I heard him coming, he runs straight past me and then fortunately he is able to turn around and get me. So I think he was using an SMG, so obviously he was much more nimble, he could run a bit quicker and he could turn around much easier and shoot me. So yeah, and I think we go on a, I think we die twice more and then we don't die again for the rest of the game. Now that's something I'm quite happy with because I like to try and get a pretty big streak. I think my streak maybe was uh, a 20 kill streak, something like that, with perks. And now this is just pretty terrible aiming. I only got one hit marker there. And I think I come around and I die again in a minute. So I run around here and yep, yeah, he knifes me there. I probably should have knifed him, but I was trying to get the kill with the gun. So yeah, I mean, the guy did well. He reacted better than me in that situation, he did better than me, so I can't really complain. And now I th we go on another bit of a quiet patch, I mean that's the annoying thing with this game, you can never predict when there's going to be a quiet patch, and once again get killed again, that was just pretty terrible aiming for me to be honest. However that is all the bad stuff done, we are now completely in the clear when it comes to deaths, we do not die again for the rest of the game, which is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that will make, make it a 20 kill streak that I go on now. This guy probably should be a little bit more aware. He should probably be checking his corners. So I think a lot of my kills come off other people making mistakes. Because a lot of people don't check the corners. They're not listening out for people. So, and once again, this guy just jumped down there. Pretty bad aiming as I jumped down. But we do make the kill in the end. And now I heard him coming. So I was able just to pop out and get him there. That is where most of my kills come from because if it wasn't for me sound whoring, I would not have heard them coming. And him once again, I was ready for him jumping through that window simply because I can hear him coming. Now this is one thing that I think means that I have quite slow gameplays and that's because I don't use marathon or agility. Because I prefer to use perks that help me in gunfights. So that means I can't get around the map particularly quick. I'm constantly stopping and whatnot. So it can be a little bit annoying trying to get gameplays that are just packed with kills. But we get another little kill here. This guy's trying to, I think he's trying to get some leaning kills or something. But there we go. That's the five kill streak. We now have our guard dog. The guard dog, as I've said on many occasions, is a really good first kill streak. Because it's pretty achievable for everyone to get a five kill streak. Everyone can probably get a five kill streak no matter what your ability. And they really do help you. They alert you to enemy's presence and they uh, they can pick up kills. Guard dogs are really overpowered in this game because I don't understand how they can take three sniper rifle bullets when a person can only take one. Now, that's a bad thing if someone else has got a guard dog on the enemy team. But for you, that's brilliant if you've got a guard dog. Because they take so many bullets that 
And now I hear another guy here, so I hear him, and I'm ready. And I didn't really realise he was going to be that close to me, but I did panic knife a little bit there. However, a good panic knife, there's nothing wrong with that. And now I get two kills in pretty quick succession. That guy that I killed second probably should have been more aware. He probably should have been aware of his teammate getting killed, and he probably would have been able to kill me, but luckily for me, I did manage to make both the kills there. And now we are one off our battle hind. So... Now, I think uh, we do get pushed up into this little room in a bit. But either way, we get our next kill. And he, we get it fairly soon. I mean, the dog, the, you might have heard there, the dog was sort of alerting me. And then he comes around the corner. I get the battle hind, but unfortunately, my dog does die there. But that's not an issue. Now, I, uh, I'm in two minds as to whether to call the battle hind in. But I think I did in the end. I was hoping that he'd kill, that the hind would kill the enemy outside. But no, so I just sort of had to peek around the corner and get him there. And now I have my Juggernaut Maniac, which I call in immediately. Pretty daring attempt just to throw it there, because obviously you're quite out in the open. And enemies can be coming from all sides. But I thought, as long as I'm up here, I can guard it pretty well. And my, uh, my Battle Hind is in the air, so that will be taking enemies down. And now you can see some movement straight ahead of me. Fortunately, I did manage to get into my Juggernaut armor pretty soon. And that's the first kill. This guy's been shooting at me a lot. The Maniac has already taken quite a lot of damage. That wasn't that good. I probably shouldn't have gone running into them quite like that. But either way, we're going 24 for 4 now, which is it's a pretty good game so far. And I think the Maniac, it's not, it's not too badly damaged. And now we get another kill right here. I really think there's just nothing people can do when the Maniac's that close to you. Because they're that quick. You, can, you might be able to get a shot or two in. And I'm not 100% sure how many bullets the Maniac does take. But I know it's a lot. And now this guy here, we're just chasing him down. And we get him right here. hes I don't really know what he was doing there. But then that's a triple kill. My hind got two of them and I got one of them. And now as you will notice, I do have a care package. I got that a while ago. But I, I never see the point in calling them in because they never seem to give me anything good. But anyway, there we go. That's 75 kills to us. 43 to the other team. And I believe I went 27 and 4, which is a pretty good game indeed. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe for more. I've been Angry Gamer Online, and I will speak to you in a bit.